Hi, I'm Selesh, and this is Amy and Lewis by Libby Gleason and Freya Blackwood. Amy and Lewis built towers as high as the sky. They dug holes deep enough to bury bears, and they saw magical creatures in clouds. When Amy was in the sandpit and Lewis was on the swing, she called to him across the yard with a special word her mom taught her. Gooey, Louie. Lewis always came to play. When Lewis was in the dressing up corner and Amy was with the Play-Doh, he called to her across the room with the same special word. Cooey, Amy. Amy always came to play. And when they were at the, when they were at home, they called to each other across the fence. Cooey, Louie. Cooey, Amy. One of them would soon come climbing through the gap with secrets to share. But one day, Amy and her family moved a long, long way away. To the other side of the world. Lewis stopped building towers, digging holes, and staring at clouds. He no longer called to anyone across the yard, the room, or the fence. He thought about er Amy every day and every night. In the place where Amy was, there was nowhere to dig holes or build towers, and the clouds held only raindrops. She thought about Lewis every night and every day. If I call Amy really loudly, she'll, she'll hear, me, hear me, won't she? Lewis asked his mom. His mom shook her head. Amy's too far away, he said. she said. When you're awake in the day, she's asleep at night. If I call Amy really, really loudly, She'll hear me, won't she? He asked his dad. His dad shook his head. Amy's half the world away, he said. When she's awake in the day, you are asleep at night. If I call Amy with the loudest call anyone could ever, ever do, she'll hear me, won't she? He asked his grandma. Maybe, his grandma said. You can only try. So Lewis spread his arms as wide as he could and threw back his head. Amy! His cry rang out across the yard, across the street, and past the edge of the town. Lewis fell back and stared up at the sky, where clouds were making strange seahorses and wild, wild dragons. Across the ocean, in a city where tall buildings stretched to the sky, Amy woke and came sleepily to breakfast. I had a lovely dream, she said. I dreamt about Lewis, and he called me. That was Amy and Lewis by Libby Gleason and Freya Blackwood. If you want to read this book yourself, or books like other, or like this, or others like this, you can go. You can borrow it from the local library or your school library.